This very well could be the strangest video I've ever made. It's very out of character for me to shoot something like this where I dig into social issues. But I'm going to do it because I feel like it's an important video to make. So, it all started tonight. I got a comment on my channel page from Skateman22. And his question was, Why are you subscribed to Gay Romance? Well, it's actually Gay Romantic Marco. Gay Romantic Marco was someone who commented on a video of mine ages ago, and it was a great comment. So I checked his channel, and he had a video up from the artist Mitsu, who's a French-Canadian artist, who I met several times in the early 90s, a track called Deep Kiss. I hadn't heard it in years. So he had some other great 90s house energy tracks on his channel and so I subscribed and I didn't think a thing of it. Uh, he did come back later, Skateman22, and say, oh I'm sorry I didn't even look at the channel before I commented. But I thought, well, what was Skateman22 trying to do, what was he thinking, and why would he post something like that almost as uh, an accusation to me? <laughs> Not that I care, I mean I'm a heterosexual guy, I've got a kid, I've got a woman, everybody knows it. But I thought maybe it would be worthwhile to do a video and talk a little bit about not only tolerance, but acceptance for DJs and things like straight or gay, black or white, whatever. It's very important for us for several reasons. Let's say you're a wedding DJ. Be aware that some of the best party planners and banquet managers are gay men. They're not all gay men. Please don't take that and, and twist it around. But there are definitely a lot of individuals out there in the entertainment industry who do things like this who are gay. They're not gonna try to hit on you, they're not gonna disrespect you, they're good people just like you and me. They just have sex with men instead of women. Big deal, who cares? You hear a lot of people talking about tolerance and tolerance to me is one of those things that I'm not sure how I feel about it. Tolerance means, you know what, I hate it, but I'm going to tolerate it. Meaning I'm not going to throw eggs at you, but I'm still going to hate you. I like acceptance. Understanding? Well, I don't know. I don't understand the gay lifestyle because I'm not gay. I like women. I don't understand how a man can like a man. But that doesn't mean that... I have to under I don't hate what I don't understand. Does that make sense to you? Whatever. It's not for me to understand. It's for a gay person or a homosexual to understand why they feel the way they feel. And it's certainly not my job to ridicule them, belittle them, or anything else, especially if we've got complete mutual respect. And I know a lot of gay people. And believe it or not, a lot of you have watched gig logs and videos from gay people. They're not openly gay. They're not telling you they're gay, but people talk to me, they tell me things, and I've met a lot of people in my travels, and yeah, we've got gay DJs out there who do great work for us and teach us a lot, believe it or not. Let's say you're into house music, and uh, well, maybe you ought to know that, to make a long story short, house music came from the gay community. House music was named after a club called The Warehouse that was around in the late 70s, early 80s. It was a giant nightclub, and it was a black gay club, held thousands of people. They played a lot of disco, but the disco thing died or went away, and they weren't producing a lot of disco music, so they started digging into funky, maybe Euro music like the Arrhythmics and things like that, and, and played that, and then eventually they started making their own music, and they called it house music came from the gay community folks you hip hop guys out there hey where do you think all your samples came from they came from the disco era what do you think disco was not all disco was gay musicians and gay producers and gay writers but you know what a shitload of it was and it would never have flourished like it did if it hadn't been for the support of the gay community and some of the best nightclubs of all time were gay nightclubs or I guess accepting to gays. that Gay people went there and they were openly gay in the clubs and there wasn't an issue about it. Most of the giant super clubs in New York back in the 70s, the ones that started it all, places like The Warehouse, even Studio 54, come on guys, 
we got to uh, we got to remember that again just because we don't understand something doesn't mean it's bad and believe me not every gay person wants to have sex with you boys it doesn't work that way I've got a friend of mine who man I've known him for years and and recently I found out some stuff about him that I didn't know about his sexuality and it doesn't bother me at all it didn't shock me and he's still one of my old dear friends and I love him like an old dear friend and he's not disrespecting me he's not looking at me like a piece of meat I mean and I know that he we never talked about it but you just know we're like brothers you know but who cares man just just think about that take take what I've said and, and process it however you gotta process it and think about things before you say them that's it I'm gonna close this video like I said one of the strangest videos I've ever done I don't know if it made any sense or not I'm gonna watch it before I post it but I just thought I'd throw it out there for whatever it's worth and, and hope I reach somebody just, just just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's bad and and let's not let's not hate practice and enjoy